So, this is Saturday the 12th of March, and uh, we're in Benissa. And Benissa is a lovely place, it really is, but you need to go at the back of Benissa to see the best of it. And this is where I'm starting this video this morning, at the back of Benissa, where you've got all these small houses, and uh, you must walk around to see the best of it. And uh, if you do, you'll come across little streets like this, which are lovely to walk around. There's a few shops scattered in between the houses, different types of shops. So it's certainly worth looking at. I'm never sure where people park when they live in a place like this because there's no garages or very few garages. There are one or two connected to the houses, but uh, generally there are no parking or there is no parking. But I suppose that's one of the things you have to put up with. You have to find somewhere to park. And then if I look down here, you've got the market at the bottom of the street. I have a, 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 right, a race today. As you can see, the people in front of me are running. And uh, they're running all around the town. They've got a uh, little, um, strings down across each road make sure they go the right way and uh, this is what they're doing and there's lots of them here running not sure what if it's for a cause or whatever it's for but you have little bars here that are open today there's plenty going on today in Benissa there's, um, there's a market today, and this is the church. This is the Marina Cathedral. If you look at it, we go away from the sun, otherwise we can't see anything. But if I go up, all the way up, you can see it. It's a beautiful old place. Finished in the 20th century, it was finished, they reckon. But this uh, little town goes back to the medieval times and uh, with white walls and window grids and flowers hanging from balconies. This is what you get when you come here. Um, there's a lovely little square here with a fountain. So we're going to have a look at that. Fountains uh, always draw me towards them, I must admit. I'm not sure what other people are like, but I like fountains anyway. I make lots of lovely noise. Like this one, look. And here they've got seating all around. You can sit everywhere. There must be 10 or 15 different seating positions here. Under the trees, which is lovely. At night time, they're lit up. So really nice place to, to calm out of the sun, you know, in July and August, when you want to get out of the sun. So certainly, this really is a lovely area.
keep going on and on. We're at the far end of the town now. Usually up here, all you've got is the houses that are here. But uh, today, as you can see, we have the market. I thought there was a fruit and veg market here as well today. Uh, I could see fruit and veg in front of me, but whether that's part of the market, I'd assume it is actually. You need to come along the N332 and when you get to Benisa, just come off the main road, which is the 332, and then just come to the back of the, of the town and then you'll find all this lot going on. It's unusual today because of the racing, but uh, this is normally not here. But both both markets are here on a Saturday. So if you want to buy fruit and veg, there's some great colours, and it's always cheaper than going to places like Mazzy Mass or Mercadona to buy your fruit and veg. So it's worth coming here on a Saturday. You want to top up your vegetables and your fruit. And uh, it just keeps going on. Over here, we have a van. I'm not sure what they're selling. Can't see at the moment. Let's have a look. Uh, they're selling cheeses and hams. And this one is selling meat. So you've got plenty of sausages and hams and stuff like that. 